Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Uh, the small display can be a great asset to any DIY project like the DIY mini PC, uh, DIY camera or even DIY mobile phone. In this video let's check the hyperpixel high uh, resolution high speed uh, 4 inch TFT display from Bimoroni. This video is not sponsored and I make videos for just fun and personal use. So let's get started. This is the Hyperpixel 4 inch display, uh, it's IPS, capacitive multi-touch with a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels, uh, around uh, 235 ppi, 60 frame uh, per second frame rate and it connects to the Raspberry Pi with the 40 uh, pin headers directly to any Raspberry Pi. And there is an alternative I squared T broken down so you can use it for more advanced stuff as well carefully attach it to the 40 pin headers here i'm using raspberry pi 4 but you can use it of course with any uh, raspberry pi just carefully uh, at, uh, press down the uh, screen not to press it down from the surface just from the edges and carefully attach it to the 40 header pin and of course if you have the uh, touch uh, version uh, make sure that you will not pull the uh, glass surface out of the screen here I grabbed a new copy of the Raspberry Pi OS and using the Raspberry Pi Imager I've installed it to an SD card. The display will not work right away. You need to install the software and the drivers for that. To do that I've attached the uh, Raspberry Pi to a monitor and configured the setting for the regions, the keyboard setting and of course for the internet access. Here I'm using, uh, I'm logged into my Wi-Fi network. You're gonna need also to enable the I2C and the SSH interfaces from the Raspberry Pi configuration. After that, you will need to reboot the Raspberry Pi. And using my uh, Windows PC, I am uh, using WinSSB uh, to SSH into the Raspberry Pi terminal. And from the product page of Bimoroni website, you can scroll down and you will find the software section. There is one line uh, installer you can copy and paste the command line to the terminal and press enter. For the setting, choose the right setting for the um, Raspberry Pi and for of course your display here. I have the 4 inch version and Raspberry Pi 4, so I choose one. This will uh, install the software to um, the Raspberry Pi and it will modify the boot config.txt file. An installation is now done after rebooting the display will work just fine and you will see the tiny raspberry pi uh, desktop in a portrait mode to have a different orientation of the screen you have to use this command it's the hyperpixel 4 dash uh, rotate left right normal or invert but you but you don't uh, run it from the ssh terminal you need to run it directly uh, from the raspberry pi terminal Otherwise, you will uh, get an error and the touch screen will have a different coordinates. Basically, the script of the uh, rotation, it rotates the screen resolution and also the touch panel uh, coordinates. This is my first touch screen experience with uh, Raspberry Pi. It looks amazing. I'm happy with this purchase. And in the next few videos, we can use it with to make a beautiful DIY project. And uh, speaking of projects, I have a project before to display a to-do list on uh, and a calendar on an e-ink display. I had much fun making it. Uh, and there is one comment on my instructable page of, of that project to make the same project on a touch screen and a screen uh, like this one. So I believe we can use an existing software to run directly from the browser without any programming skills needed, such as the AK uh, dashboard. You can get a free account, you can install and connect your 
uh, accounts for the calendar for the to-do list and run it directly from the browser it really look uh, beautiful on this screen uh, on this small display well if you have a question uh, an idea for a DIY project with this display just let me know in the comments down below subscribe to the channel there will be more and uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Salam.